welcome to the tutorial on Doceri. Doceri is a presentation app and it is this icon right here. And the main page looks like this. You're going to want to select um, from my iPad alone. Now Doceri is a really great presentation tool. It's good for students and teachers. Teachers, it's really great because you can use it as a substitute for manipulatives that all of your students can see. And it can also be interactive and collaborative because you can actually hand the iPad to the students with a stylus and they can manipulate things that you have put into the presentation already. For students, it's really great because you can create a presentation if a, if a teacher asks you to create a project on a specific topic or concept, you can make a presentation that actually has an audio recording of you explaining it with your voice as well as manipulating things on the screen. So this is the main project area of Doceri. As you can see, I have projects, I have folders, and I have um, some um, other projects that are just on your own. If you want to start a new one, you just uh, click on the little plus sign in the lower left hand corner. And I prefer to use the iPad default size and it brings up the screen. This is the default pattern around the edge. If you want to change it, you can just click on this little icon here and they have several different options. Um, the pattern has graph paper for um, specifically, well not specifically, but um, I use it a lot when I am teaching math. Um, there's a lot of maps, so if you're doing geography and want kids to identify specific areas, they can, you can use it for that. And they just also have really nice patterns that you can choose that are mellow or not mellow, depending on your tastes. They also have plain color backgrounds and you can pick the color you want and you can also stick in images if you want. I personally prefer to use a white background, which can be accessible through right there and you just click the color. So say if I wanted black, it's black. If I want white, it's white. So um, this is the drawing area and you can so the pen settings, you can change the size, the space, and you can also actually change which tool is present in that space by selecting here, but I tend to like the ones that are up there so I don't change it very often. And of course when you draw, it's going to show up as what you are using with that tool. So that's the pen. You can also use the marker setting, which is what actually I prefer to use because it, it shows up better with the kids, but the pen's just as good and you can get to allow you to draw. They also have highlighters. The highlighter is uh, just you know, pick the color and you can highlight what you want. It just draws attention to anything you're using. Uh, you can make squares or rectangles. You can make circles and they also have the eraser tool. The eraser tool is not very complete. It doesn't erase every single mark involved with the shape that you made. So you have to be pretty thorough when you're doing your erasing if you want it all gone. Now, if you really want to uh, uh, undo what you did, this little curly Q here will undo individual stroke marks that you did. So if you made a mistake or a kid makes a mistake, you can obviously go back. Now, if you made a big mistake or for some reason you just want to clear the slide, this little windshield wiper tool allows you to clear all strokes. All right. So let's say you are making a presentation and you want uh, to include an image. You can go to this little button, click camera roll, and then select an image. Let's say that I had a previous image from math that had to do with um, the surface area of a figure. I made this in a previous uh, app and I can uh, take an image of it and insert it. Now let's say I wanted to add another slide to my dossier. You're going to click this little arrow over off here in the corner and it's going to create a new slide for you and it just said slide two of two. And you can do whatever you need to do with it. Now let's say you're um, happy with your presentation and you need to email it. Well, for most apps in the iPad, it's this little button here and you can do e email just the current image. Um, if you do just the current image, it will only be the slide. If you want to do it as a PDF, which I prefer for my students because then it allows them to open it in a lot of different apps, you probably want to have it stop at each slide. Now, um, what it means for each page and each stop is if you're doing a recording, which I'll demo in just a moment. So each slide, and it's going to convert it into a PDF, and then it's going to open it in an email window. So you can email it to who you ever to whoever you want. And since I'm not going to email this, go ahead and close that. Now let's say um, 
I want to actually record some audio for this particular um, page. You're going to hit the record button and you're going to press start recording. So if I push start recording, it's going to start listening using the um, microphone on the iPad. So I can say, and it turns red when it starts to record, which it now recorded that. So I can say, the, um, this is the formula for the surface area of a triangular prism. Surface area is equal to the lateral faces, or the lateral area, plus two times the base. And it goes through using this formula to apply the dimensions of this figure to create it. So once I'm done and happy with my recording, I'm going to click the recording button again and push stop recording. Now obviously you can do the pause recording if you want. Oop, I didn't push it hard enough. There we go. So once it's recorded, it's going to bring up the recordings. And if you want to listen to it, you just have to push the play button. Say, and it turns red when it starts to record. Which and there you go. That. So I can say the, um, this is the formula for the surface area of a triangular prism. Surface area is equal to the lateral face. So I'm going to pause that. Now as you can see, it recorded everything I said. And then if I wanted to email this recording, say I wanted to email it to my students because um, somebody was absent or um, I am flipping the classroom and I want to have them use this for homework, I can email it to whoever I choose once I'm happy with my recordings. And you can go back and edit them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And if I ever want to find my recordings again, I click on my recordings, go back to the record button, click my recordings, and they're all going to be there. And again, I don't have to click on them to email them. I can just open it up here and then select it. Okay. Oop. And it turned my, sorry. Um, I can hit um, email, or excuse me, you have to drag for this one. You just drag it over to the email button and it will shrink down once it's over the button you want it to do, and then just email it. So I'll show you that as well. And again, it brings up the email dialog. So that's if you want to record and email your presentations. And that's good for students too, because if they don't actually have to do the presentation in class, as a student, the student can then email the presentation to the teacher, the teacher can watch it, and then apply the grade. So if you need to rename something, you're just going to click on it, and it should bring up the screen, and I can just title this, you know, demo. And then click done, and there it is, it's named demo. Now if I need to put this in a folder, you can just drag it over to the folder without doing any other button pushing. Well, let's say you need a new folder, go ahead and push edit, then click on the project that needs a new folder, then click the little folder icon down at the bottom. It says move to new folder, then click it, and it is now in the folder called folder. And again, if I need to rename, I just click on it, and I'm going to name it my demo folder. There we go. So that is the ins and outs of Doceri. It's a very easy tool to use. I use it a lot when I am making PowerPoint presentations for my math students. Uh, if you want, you can make a PowerPoint in Keynote and then take an image click of um, the Keynote presentation and then insert it into Doceri as a picture. And then you can draw a little over it and you can show work and do all this other wonderful stuff that Doceri does. It's a really great tool just to play around with, but it's it works really well if you're presenting a concept um, or needing to have a student present a concept. Thank you very much. So this is just a quick little preview of things that you can do with Doceri, especially from like an elementary school perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm already um, connected through AirPlay. So anything that would be projected through the Apple TV, the kids are only going to be able to see and the audience is only going to be able to see the white screen. So if I'm doodling, they aren't seeing the toolbar. They're only seeing what I'm drawing. Okay, so they don't see this top part down up here and they don't see um, this wrist guard that's right here that you guys can see um, on one side of the screen. So if I am to do a recording, I could do a recording to show like just a quick lesson. I'm going to go ahead and um, start the lesson and start the recording so that they can really see what's going on. So if I'm going to do a demo lesson, I'm probably going to use um, some graph paper just because graph paper works really well with manipulatives and I have some pre-stored graph paper in here somewhere. 
there it is. And you can take images and you can shrink them down, you can make them as big as you need to, but the image of course is going to stay proportional. You can't make these boxes that I've taken a picture of any bigger or smaller. So let's say I wanted to make some manipulatives of just some relatively easy math. Let's say I want to do two, let's make these a little bigger, two plus three. So as you guys can see, I have my manipulatives. I have one, two, three, four, five blocks, and I have two of them here and I have three of them there. So if I'm going to add them together, I'm gonna to end up with the total of the same number of blocks on one side as I do the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some new blocks so that I have the same amount. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So this is just a way that you can use manipulatives but so that every student can see what they are doing and what you are doing. Now, if I was doing this in a classroom and I wanted to reiterate and I could also test the knowledge of a student, I could physically hand them the iPad and the stylus and I say, all right, how many blocks, and allow them to draw the blocks, how many blocks do belong on the right side of the equal sign? Well, if I've got two on the left plus three on the left, I should have a total of five on the right. So that is the recording, and I can go ahead and pause or stop the recording. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Now if you pause it, it um, brings down this little menu, which I can show you in just a second. And the recording is right there. And I'm actually going to show you what the recording looks like from the teacher's perspective and what it looks like from the student perspective. So if I were to run this past recording, I'd go ahead and play it. But since I'm connected to the equivalent of an Apple TV, it's going to look different on the screen on the iPad than it does on the Apple TV, unlike the previous recording that I showed you. So another thing that's really interesting about Doceri is because it allows you to put screenshots into screenshots of the iPad into the actual program as an image, um, you can take some more um, nicer looking, um, nicer looking uh, presentations and stick it into Doceri and then use it. So one thing that I like to do is I like to start in Keynote, which is this app up here. And Keynote is very much like PowerPoint. It allows you to create some professional presentations. So here is an example of one that I've already created. And let's say I wanted to stick this in Doceri. Granted, this is somewhat a little bit time consuming because you actually have to take screen images of every single one. But what you do is you start the presentation by pushing the little play triangle here. And then you're going to push the power button and the home button at the same time and you'll notice that the screen kind of fades in and out real quickly and that means that you've taken a picture of what the image, what your iPad screen looks like and it's a complete image. If I had toolbars anywhere it would take a picture of the entire thing and what I can do is I can go back to Doceri and I can now stick the same image by going to my camera roll finding the image of the thing I just took a picture of, which is right here, and it's going to insert it in there. So now my very professional looking PowerPoint presentation that I made in Keynote is now in Doceri. So let's say that I actually had a problem on here. Well, I don't, but if I did have a problem on here and the problem was up here, I could show the students how to do the problem. So actually, I've got one, so I might as well do one. So let me go back to Keynote and find a problem that I can actually do and show you the steps of. So I have a really good one here. So here we go. So here's a quick image. Let me do full screen. Here's a quick image that I'm going to take and then I'm going to go to Doceri. Since I took an image of it, it's going to be in my camera roll. I'm going to find the image I took, insert it, and make sure you click done because otherwise it's going to move things around. I need to delete that right there. So this is actually um, Algebra 1 math. So um, here's the problem that I'm going to do. And I'm going to show the work for. So it would be 13x squared minus 5x plus 21 equals 0. And then if I were to show the work for this, um, I could use the quadratic formula where a equals 13, b equals negative 5, 
and c equals 21, and then I can definitely show the work here using the quadratic formula to do this. So I can have these very nice presentations in the background, but then use all this white space to show all of the steps. And it's very nice, especially for um, higher level math, so that you have the problems there, but then you still have the space to show all of your work.